just moments away from being rescued, and this boat, packed with people trying to escape to Europe, capsizes. The Italian Navy says the vessel was overcrowded and tipped over as they approached. Most, but not all, of the people on board made it. Many of them had to swim towards safety and haul themselves aboard dinghies. It's like this, day in and day out, in the Mediterranean Sea. The Italian Coast Guard says on Tuesday alone it rescued 3,000 people in 23 similar operations. Many of them have paid people smugglers to get them on boats to Europe from Libya. We knew it was dangerous, but Libya is a one-way trip. There is no coming back. If you go back to Libya, you can't escape. The only escape is the sea. Go to Europe or die. Some people already travelled thousands of kilometres by land to get to the northern coast of Africa. What I want from Europe is papers. I'm ready to do whatever work they want me to do. Working to help my family and my sister I've left behind so they can eat at least three times a day. NGOs like Doctors Without Borders are also part of these massive rescue operations. They say they have to be or more people would be in danger. Unfortunately, we have to be there because there are no other ships or they are far away, so we are always the first ones to arrive. It is also difficult to coordinate with Rome because they have military ships with different objectives to control the borders or anti-smuggling. So we are the ones there with the primary objective being to save the lives of these people. Saving lives and welcoming new ones. A woman from Cameroon gave birth aboard one of the rescue ships on Wednesday. She named her son Alex after the ship commander. It was a moment of joy amid all the panic. So far this year, there have been nearly 40,000 people, most of them from sub-Saharan Africa, who've been rescued and taken to Italy. There are more each week as the weather gets warmer and the seas get calmer. Some are weather that masks the dangers of trying to cross these seas. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.